This video will talk about how new experimental evidence has led to the changing and replacement of the scientific model of what people thought that an atom was like. Before the discovery of the electron, atoms were thought to be tiny spheres that couldn't be divided. The discovery of the electron led to the plum pudding model of the atom, which suggests that the atom is a ball of positive charge with negative electrons embedded in it. Rutherford, Geiger and Marsden were three scientists who decided to fire alpha particles at a thin gold sheet. They expected all of the alpha particles to pass through and be detected on the other side, but some deflected away and did not end up where they were expected. This was because they were being repelled by a concentrated charge in the centre of the atom. The results from the alpha particle scattering experiment led to the conclusion that the mass of an atom was concentrated at the centre of a nucleus and the nucleus was charged. This nuclear model replaced the plum pudding model. Niels Bohr adapted the model by suggesting that electrons orbit the nucleus at specific distances. His theoretical calculations agreed with later experimental observations. Later experiments led to the idea that the positive charge of any nucleus could be subdivided into a whole number of smaller particles, each particle having a positive charge. The name proton was given to these particles. James Chadwick's experimental work provided the evidence to show the existence of neutrons within the nucleus, and this took place about 20 years after the nucleus became an accepted scientific idea. Overall, you can see how the contributions of many minds has developed the model of the atom to something that we recognise today.